All right, my name is Sean Fallon, and you're listening to episode 34, The IT Crowd. Welcome to From First to Last. Hello again, and welcome again. My name is Sean Fallon. This is From First to Last. Um, today's episode, I am joined by the wonderful Emerald Williams. How are you, Emerald? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm very, very good. Um, what TV show did you choose for us today? One of my top favorite shows of all time, IT Crowd. IT Crowd, fantastic. So IT Crowd, um, in, in pure British sense, it ran for 25 episodes from 2006 to 2013. Um, yeah, it was one of those. So it ran for four seasons, then stopped for a few years, and then had a big special, and then mm-hmm. it was done. Um, so, what is your exp- uh, special? What is your experience with IT Crowd? I think I first started watching it when my family first got Netflix in about 2010. I was home for from college one summer. My sister and I. This is such a, a weird memory, but we watched like the whole thing in two days. And ate icing out of the tub. Wow! I don't, <laughs> it's just a very specific memory that we both have of just watching it and eating icing, and it was it was the best two days of that whole summer. <laughs> this is just pure icing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we're, wow. it's, we're that's, young. That's <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's all good. Yeah, that's um. That's wild. That's a really good memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we were just, we had love. we were watching just a bunch of British TV shows, <laughs> you know, because we had, Doctor Who had ended for the season or something. Yeah. And uh, we were like, what, what other British shows can we watch? And we found IT Crowd. Yeah, perfect. Well, I mean, that that is the thing with, because um, uh, obviously I'm from England, I grew up in England, and um, that, was, that was the thing with, like, TV shows over there. You, you know, the, this this show ran for four seasons and a special, but only has enough episodes to fill like an American season. Oh yeah, and there's only twenty five episodes altogether. So that was that was quite fr- frustrating when you grew up in England because a show would start and then six weeks later you'd have to wait a year for more of them. Um, which like some of my absolute favourite shows from England, like there's a show called uh, Red Dwarf, which I absolutely love. Mm. And um, I think that that's run now for like twelve seasons, and there's probably um, less than a hundred episodes. You know, there's oh probably God. only about eighty <laughs> episodes of the whole thing, and it's been running since the eighties. You know. Oh wow! <laughs> but that's yeah, that's just uh, well. I mean, the good thing about that, obviously, is with a show like this. Like for me, I I started watching this. Well, I, get, I watched the first two episodes in 2006. Like, I, I was living in England when it came out. And um, it was actually quite weird, because I was living in England when it came out, and I watched the first two episodes and, and didn't really like it. I didn't get it. I, didn't, I yeah. wasn't into it at all. I thought it was a bit stupid. Then didn't... Obviously, years and years and years passed. And, and it was one of those shows where I would constantly find myself, like, on... Uh, on Tumblr or something like that and someone would post a gif from it or a little video and every time I saw one of them every time I saw Moss drinking his milk and stuff like that I'd laugh my ass off and just be like what is what I don't remember any of this so I ended up um, I've I've mentioned this before on the podcast to people who've listened um, when I lived in Istanbul when I lived in Turkey we used to get a bus to school every day Mm -hmm. and it took like 30 to 40 minutes so I would just take my iPad and watch TV on it and I ended up putting all of IT crowd and yeah, like you say, I think it was like one episode up, one episode down and just had the whole thing done in like two weeks. And oh, yeah. it was great because I sort of finished it and I was like, oh, when I'd, I'd love to have more of this, like, but there's only, you know, four seasons. And then a couple of weeks later, they announced the special. So I got right. to sort of finish it off without having to wait the three years that everyone else did. <laughs> um, what did you think watching this first episode, uh, first episode? For this podcast like how was it how was that experience did did uh, you eat icing i did not i ate uh. chicken wings but um <laughs> i it was so funny because um it just brought back like a lot of memories of like first watching it and the second third fourth time watching it um well and like you i had seen like gifts on tumblr or like about the the sports metaphors and everything and just lost <laughs> yeah. and uh and then 
and that's how I'd seen it. And I, after watching it, I had followed the careers of the actors because I loved them so much. Oh, and yeah. So watching them, the first episode again, seeing Richard Awadi as Moss <laughs> again after seeing him, you know, do so many other things was, yeah. is hilarious because you have to approach it as this is going to be silly. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, very much so. It's so silly. Yeah, it's it's that sort of thing. Like, I was definitely thinking that when I was watching it, like, how heightened everything is. Like, everything's uh-huh. just that nice layer of normal, but just that <laughs> icing, if you will, of just uh-huh. pure insanity on the Absolutely. top. Like, everyone is just insane. Everything goes from worse to worse. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it. so and funny. And the thing is, it's, though, it's... in American sitcoms, when things like that happen, you cringe. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I I I don't like Big Bang Theory, but it seems like it follows that bad things happen, but then it resolves. Yeah, um, and you just cringe the whole time the bad things are happening. But with IT Crowd, all the bad things are happening, and it's hilarious, and it never gets better. Yeah, no, that's it. I I, I even put that I put that in my notes. I was like, <laughs> these three characters are essentially your heroes, but watching them suffer is actually really entertaining. It yeah. It, it's it's not like you're sort of watching it and it's it's horrible and you're like oh no you know when you go yeah deeper deeper do something else <laughs> you know make this exactly. worse <laughs> what else can they do yeah which which is amazing and um yeah I mean it's it's very similar to uh, Graham Linehan who made this show did you uh, I, have you ever watched Black Books I have not it's on my list it's very good and it's a similar sort of thing it's but it's set in a bookshop. Mm-hmm. And it's the idea of like Bernard Black is the owner of the bookshop, and he's just this like um, uh, rude drunk and he runs this bookshop, and he's just the worst. And then he has like he hires this guy who's a bit of a like weird hippie, and then his next door neighbor's like um, a bit of a flighty idiot, and the three of them just sort of have adventures together. And it's very similar in the sense of like again, <laughs> these are your heroes, but you just watch them get into these. Re- ridiculous situations uh, surrounded by these insane characters who just like are obviously just I mean I think the thing that's great about it is there's no there's no attempt to tie it into reality it's just like no here's 20 minutes of just pure madness enjoy I it's so and the slapstick comedy Mm. which people don't do much anymore it's just so stupidly brilliant yeah it's I, it, it's incredibly um, bingeable. I definitely yeah. found that. Like, I wanted to just keep going more and more and more. Absolutely. And um, and obviously, the three leads are amazing. The, uh, their chemistry together is just so funny, and they're so equally great actors. Mm. And like their subtle facial expressions has very much influenced me. <laughs> in my personal life of just kind of staring like Jen does. Yeah. <laughs> well, the the thing I love with Jen um, is that when she does like the deep growling voice oh, and she's annoyed. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. She's hilarious. Yeah. Um, that actress, Catherine Parkinson, she is, um, like, she's amazing. And she's definitely one of those actresses who just, like, turns up in things. Like, if you do watch English TV, right. you'll find... I think she's in an episode of Sherlock. She's poss- She's either been in Doctor Who or her name has been, like, floated around as as being Doctor Who, like, later on. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. She's yeah, one of my no. picks for the new, for the new oh, Doctor. Yeah, no, she's absolutely amazing. And um, obviously, uh, Chris O'Dowd... What was weird for me was when I first started watching this show, Chris O'Dowd had sort of had a bit was starting to have a bit of a Hollywood career. Like I think he'd been in Bridesmaids right. when I started watching the show, so that was that was quite weird because I'd just seen him on the cinema, and then you're watching him in this tiny room just being a little Irish weirdo. <laughs> That's great. And and obviously, and obviously Rich, uh, Richard, how do you pronounce his surname? I, I, I believe I, it's Aowari. Oh, well, yeah, and and I mean yeah. he's he's genius. Like he oh. is, uh, it, it's unquantifiable how good he is. After I had wa- absolutely after I'd watched IT Crowd, like I found online the Big Fat Quiz Show, and yes. I watched every episode with him and then Noel, um, yeah. and just watching both of them together, and then just Richard is he's probably 
my favorite comedian of all time, and he's so underrated. I am obsessed he is. with him. Yeah, and I mean, he's amazing if, like, um, he, he he's in that sort of... So, just a weird sort of side sidebar, mm-hmm. sidebar history lesson thing. The, in, like, comedy in England tends to go in these weird periods where you'll have, like, 10 or 15 comedians who are just... Who just run everything. So, like, in the 80s, it was, like, all these alternative comedians. You had, like, French and Saunders, Rick Mail, Aid Edmondson, Alexi Sale. And they, they were just in every TV show. They would just, like, swap around. And then you got to a point where it was, like, all these. So it was, like, uh, Matt Berry and Richard Iwadi and Noel Fielding. Mm-hmm. So you had, like, the Mighty Boosh and... Uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place and it was very cool because I was really into that humour but it's so weird like these shows are so odd like I don't know if you've ever watched Snuffbox I have not Snuffbox is one of the oddest creations ever in England it only ran for one season it's uh, Douglas Renham is he wrote it and is one of the people in it and it's about these two executioners in England who have all these weird it's like a weird sketch show that oh it's it's worth watching just for how utterly insane it is (laughs) um and then yeah like all those shows the mighty boosh and Garth Marenghi's dark place and uh Richard Iwadi's in them all like he he is just this like awesome um I don't know, just like MVP just comes in and he's just in like one scene or one episode and just runs it and then leaves. And it's amazing. He's such a character and a presence. I don't know. I yeah. love him. <laughs> yeah, he's he's incredible. He's um, just, it's weird that um, Chris O'Dowd, I guess, has had the bigger like Hollywood career. Like you would expect, well, I mean, I don't know. It's just the way these things work. But well, sure. like at the moment in England, like, Richard Iwadi is a game show host. Like, he's moved into doing that and apparently is amazing at doing that. So he's just just one of those characters, one of those people, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing that I I did really like about this, the boss in this first episode, oh. um, that actor is a guy called Chris Morris, who's like a comedian in England. And he is, again, another very, very odd person. <laughs> <laughs> he... I... That's one of the funniest things to me is how intense he was in that first episode. And then, you know, at the end, like, team, 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 team. If you're not a team, you're fired. <laughs> and the security team is going to throw you out. And if they aren't a good team, we're going to get another team to throw the security team out. And then, you know, the IT department's like, oh, we got this. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll just pretend to be a team. Well, yeah, I mean, the days of that is Moss is just like, it's not working out. Like, whoa, <laughs> shut up, Moss. Oh, he's away. Come on, Moss. Thanks for throwing the joke in. <laughs> well, the one of the, the great Moss, um, the great Moss episodes, the great Moss moments, I think is the second episode with the fire. And it's like, <laughs> it's one of those incredibly weird Graham Linehan things where they've changed 999 into that, like, 13 digit oh random number God. and no I, one can remember it exactly i i think about that all the time <laughs> all the time it's like whenever like eight it's more in my head than that like eight six seven five three or nine song like <laughs> <laughs> well it's and, and the thing about it's like you know i think he emails the fire service and then it's like <laughs> When the fire extinguisher catches fire, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to put you over here with the rest of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's the classic, I just don't want to deal with this right now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, just just great. And um, yeah, I mean, like I say, the, it's, it, I mean, it's it's very, I don't know how, because I know they, they tried to make an IT crowd in America, like it had Joel McHale in it and it had yeah. Justin Sinclair. And apparently, yeah, I mean, I did see a bit of it on um, YouTube. Like, they linked, they leaked the pilot, and it was crap. And they tried to do it in Germany, and it was called, oh, really? like, uh, The Boys at the Mouse. And apparently, same thing. <laughs> like, they did one episode, and everyone hated it. Like, I don't know whether it is just, like, a uniquely British sort of thing that you have to... I don't know. I mean, it's, it's weird, because, like... I feel like yeah, you say, I think you made a good comparison with Big Bang Theory in the sense of like two shows that are sort of about geeky people. Mm-hmm. Um, but anything I've ever seen of Big Bang Theory 
is it it always i don't know it's I, i've watched clips of it where it is just that thing where they just like say the name of a tv show and that's the joke uh, yeah where it's like <sighs> yeah and that that's what's so bad about it because it's just like reference 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 canned laughter for a big bang yeah. theory for it crowd one i love that it was filmed in front of an audience cause, yeah definitely yeah. and uh it's just not like oh reference this thing it's like it's just part of the series, like when they're playing like Dungeons and Dragons, like with those yeah. um, like sport guys. It's just part of the show, and it, that's the humor. It just isn't just nerd references. Yeah, that's it, and it's like all that sort of nerd reference stuff is all in the background. Like if you, right. I, I find myself doing that, like watching it and looking at like stuff on the bookshelf and stuff like that, and you can see that whoever's like dressed the set. Yeah. is some big nerd like because it wasn't sort of like all just like okay here's a star wars poster here's a doctor who poster they were like deep cuts of like independent comic books that yeah. i've barely had heard of and like video game stuff and internet memes and all that and and that was really good like there's a weird sort of runner that i started noticing that um like obviously they've got the couch and jen's always sat on the couch mm-hmm. and she's always reading a comic book like that's just something that she just starts doing after a while. Like every time it cuts to her, she's just re- like she's always sort of reading a comic book. Like she doesn't know what it is. Like that's just a weird yeah. little character thing. Like she's always just looking at it confused. <laughs> oh yeah, I never noticed that. But yeah, I, I now think about it. But I, I think I had read somewhere that fans had sent in a bunch of the props. Ah, okay. And so it, there, it's like a bunch of just random things. And I, I had seen in one scene like old Atari games and things like that. But like some of like the posters and stuff, I think were fan sent, and so they're very oh. kind of underground. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, and I think that's great. And like you say, it's it doesn't feel it. There's a weirdness to it in the sense of like whenever I sort of seen any, like I say heard anything or seen anything of Big Bang Theory, mm-hmm. the joke seems to be that they are nerds, and it's like oh let's laugh at these people because they're big geeky nerds. Exactly. Whereas it crowded is like well yeah I mean. It's actually quite interesting. I went to the, the the company I work for just got bought out by some like big company, mm-hmm. so we've been absorbed into them. So we went for a, a tour of their um, their facility the other week. So I'm going around, we're meeting everyone, and then our boss is like, our new boss is like, "Oh, come through here, and you can meet the uh, the IT people." And when we go through <laughs> the door, it was this big office with two two desks on either side of the room <laughs> and just stacks of computer parts everywhere. <laughs> And I was like, I was just thinking to myself, should I mention the IT crowd? Are they going to find that offensive? <laughs> Is that like a weird <laughs> reference? But it was just, that was the first thing I thought of. I was just like, oh. And it was just these two dudes who were, and actually they're really nice guys, like when you actually meet them. But it is that weird thing of like, oh, are these, gonna, these people going to be really weird? <laughs> you know? Right, absolutely. But that was just, I was just thinking of IT crowd. I mean, they must get that so much, like, you know, have you oh, turned it on so. and off again and stuff? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> And that and that's the thing. Like I, with the nerd humor, it's all background. Everything else is things that are the weird, terrible things that happen to the trio. And, but yeah. they're also nerds, and that's yeah, not that's the main focus. Yeah, and I mean, and that's perfect. Because like I was, just before we started, I was like, just to refresh my memory, I sort of read this like because obviously the genius of there only been twenty five episodes. Mm-hmm. I just jumped on Wikipedia and read like the synopsis, like the little brief three line synopsis of each episode just to remind myself of stuff and it was interesting how little it it was less about like obviously like computers and nerdy stuff and a lot of it was just about how awkward these people are or how awful they are you know it was a lot of stuff about you know it was date there's a there's a big it's almost like um i guess like kirby enthusiasm in that sense of like it's just these people in this situa- in these situations where they just make mistakes or they misread something <laughs> yeah. or they're just with weirdos and it's just in so most of the episodes it's just incidental that they that they are that they are the IT department exactly. like it is just like good workplace comedy stuff yeah. um yeah but yeah no just just great and such a i mean i will probably now cuz i like this is on, I don't think it's on, it's not on Australian Netflix, but it's on an, a different Australian streaming channel that we have, mm. which I've got on my phone. And it's like, yeah, I do ride the bus sometimes. And this would be a nice throwback to just like throw it on for 20 minutes because it's genius and so clever. And 
the, the the thing I definitely found with this episode and the last episode, there's nothing wasted in the episode. Exactly. You know, everything ties into everything else until it all just blows up at the end, which Absolutely. I love. Absolutely, yeah, that's that's my favorite part. There's no yeah, wasted space basically in the entire episode. They fit it all in. Yeah. And it's not too much that they're trying to fit all this in. It's just geniusly perfect amount for each episode, but it makes you want more. Yeah, and it's it's interesting as well. Like this, because this is such a throwback now. I don't know. I guess other than Big Bang Theory, I can't really think of any TV shows like this that are, that are massive where you just have like the you know one, two, or three sets, and it's just you know three cameras and they're just on the set and they just spend loads of time in one room Mm -hmm. um and it's weird because when i think of this show i think about that it's quite dynamic and there's a lot of movement and all that but a lot of it is just these three characters sat in a room just talking shit at each other and it works (laughs) obviously it's still genius like but it's sort of in my head because the show is so quick and so good and so you know it's so quick-witted I imagine this big sprawling show, like, no, it's it's mostly just them just talking. Yeah, you don't have tons of extras or whatever, and, the, and then I don't feel like the extras are, you know, like, there are some, like, guest appearances, Yeah. but the whole show isn't about that guest appearance. Yeah. You know, which they, ugh, I hate to keep bringing up Big Bang Theory, only because I hate it so much, but like the Big Bang Theory, they'll have like a guest star and that entire episode will be around that. Yeah. And then, but in IT, car, I, I cannot think of any No, I mean, who specifically, like even... the French the French call center when Jen's trying to set up her computer, like one of the French guys is apparently like a, a comedy star in England and I don't know, it was just like a funny moment. Yeah. Just a moment. Yeah, like lots of <laughs> Yeah, like quick character bits and, and nothing that sort of over oversteps it. You know, it, it stuff like, I guess, uh, Richmond, you know, obviously the, the, the office goth. <laughs> like his whole thing is he's in quite a few episodes, but it's very fleeting to sort of like get in, get out, and then don't overdo it, don't don't push it or anything like that. And, and it's genius because you... And, and you have that added thing of like, Roy Moss and Jen are quite heightened characters, so you have to then have them interact with more heightened characters. <laughs> so that's why you have, like, obviously Douglas Renham, uh, Matt Berry, who is just the most ridiculous character and oh the most God. ridiculous yeah. comedian. He, he, he makes me laugh all so much. Out. And it's just like, it, can, he, can he push it further? And then he does. Yeah, just... And I, he's just got um, his voice. I just, I love his voice so much. Like, he has that thing where he, his voice goes really deep. Or he, it sounds like it's not coming from him, if that makes yeah. any sense. Like, it always sounds like he's been dubbed. <laughs> which is just so yeah. odd. But there's, um, I, 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 I don't know if this would be available anywhere. It might be on Netflix. It's a TV show called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Mm-hmm. And it's... This very, very, and again, it ran only for one season in England, so there's only six episodes. Um, but it's this very weird show where you've got like this this writer who's like a Stephen King type, but he's very, very pretentious and very full of himself. Mm-hmm. And the idea of the show is he made a TV show himself in the 80s and they finally released it. And it's this bullshit hospital supernatural drama where everyone loves him and he's a genius. But uh, Richard Iwadi plays his boss, and Matt mm-hmm. Berry plays uh, Dr. Sanchez, who's like his uh, his buddy. And um, it is, if you ever can track it down, it's six episodes, so it's like a th- it's like three hours of TV or even less. It is insanely good. <laughs> like I it is crazy that. good. I will definitely it, it, have to watch that. It's like nothing else. It's it's brilliant. But uh, that's that's where like Matt Berry came. Like that's why I sort of. That was the first time I saw Matt Berry. I think that was the first time I saw Richard Iwadi, and it's just um, like a very, very odd show. Now, with this, um, how did you feel watching the final episode? Like, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had I, I had forgotten that I hadn't finished it before, like in 2013 or 14. I don't remember when I started watching it. But my Netflix mm-hmm. remembered that I hadn't <laughs> finished it. So I started it over... 
and I loved it. I got a little emotional at the end. Um, <laughs> and I, I loved so much that it wasn't, that it felt like just another episode. It didn't, yeah. but it felt final and it didn't, you know, pull out every reference from all this stuff. It just, I liked how it commented on it at the end of, yeah. remember, and Roy's like, remember that time I pretended to be disabled? And he's like, that was really weird. And uh, <laughs> they're like, yeah, a lot of weird things do happen to us. Well, let's, you know, do this now. And uh, <laughs> I didn't feel like it was too over the top. It wasn't, you know, trying to reach for things, you know, to keep the audience in. I don't know. It felt like another episode of ridiculousness, but yeah. also a, a good ending. Well, it was quite weird because when this first came out, I watched it and I was a bit like, oh, okay, I, I don't think it, I didn't think it was that good. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I just, I, maybe, I, I don't know. It just didn't land with me. But then when I watched, I watched it last night and, and I just laughed my ass off all the way through. <laughs> I think, I thought there was so much good stuff in it. Like the, the whole thing with game board, like oh the, my God. the first yeah. version and the second version was just like, <laughs> Just a perfect sort of like a pitch perfect spoof of like YouTubers. Absolutely. Just incredible. I, I loved <laughs> I loved how they spoofed YouTube, how they spoofed Chitter and uh, like yeah. viral videos and stuff. It was just like a great social commentary on this because you didn't really have like the social media in the first like four seasons. No. At all. I think there's one episode where they, they go on, like, um, Face Friend, I think is, like, yeah. the Facebook version. And and it's very much, like, you know, I think at one point one character has to explain what it is. And it's very much a sense of, like, oh, let's let's spoof this, like, brand new thing. Yeah, um, absolutely. Which, yeah, which is wild. And then this one is very much, like, no, 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 social media is a huge thing and we're going to really hit, like... The whole thing of um, coffee, what is it? Coffee tramp, coffee, coffee, coffee tramp, tramp toss cow. bitch. Yeah, yeah, coffee. Yeah, <laughs> coffee tramp toss bitch and small person races. <laughs> yes, which is absolutely genius. And so, so much of it is because it's it was like forty eight minutes long or an hour long or whatever, and it's relentless, just like joke, 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 and just like all these weird situations. That just escalates just out of control. Moss changing into the women's trousers and the phone booth oh. is probably my favorite scene. <laughs> and I will never get that out of my head. And it's so, the slowness of it, it reminded me like of Deadpool, like that clip yes. thing that had gone around of him, you know, changing into his costume and how slow it was. <laughs> oh, it, that, that whole scene is like, I, I need to help that woman. Yeah. But I'm just, I just need confidence. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like the confidence. Yeah, it's, it's so it, good. It, like you say, it does have that awesome thing of like, there's a couple of cool callbacks, and there is that point where, like, I I love this for some. I don't know why, but I love this in a TV show where someone sort of like comments on how absurd it is, but they haven't learned their lesson. So it is that thing of like. Yes. Weird things happen to us, and then the next minute they're pitching the uh, pepper spray for small women, you <laughs> yeah. know. And and there's that thing when like someone says to Jen about it, and she's like, "Oh, you know, things just happen, and then they end." <laughs> you know, it's like things yeah. happen, they get a bit worse, and then they end, and that's a that's her. And then that whole sequence where the um, just straight away you know what's going to happen, where they all just spray the pepper spray in their own eyes. Oh my it's god! Just like, oh god, I thought that was hilarious. I, and, it, I and the felt, whole thing of uh, Roy at the funeral. Oh my god! Yeah, Roy at the funeral. I I don't know. I felt stupid because I didn't see them automatically spraying it on themselves. I was like, oh, they're gonna drink it or something. I didn't ex- oh, anticipate right. the spray, and I thought I I thought it was hilarious. Ah, uh, just just incredible. And that yeah, like, like just Roy at the funeral where he's um, just straight away rubbing it and like, oh, I didn't think it would hurt so much. <laughs> And I, I do like, because all of the other Paul Bears were little people, Ugh. and I love that they yeah. didn't show it, because your imagination will just make it funnier than it was. Yeah. I thought that was a good move. Yeah, all you need is just, like, you've got how tall Roy is, <laughs> and you've seen how small <laughs> these dudes are. And, yeah, just... 
it, ah, just such... Just, uh, well, I mean, the thing I just found of it, it was just relentless. It was just, um, just constant jokes and weirdness, just unstoppable. And, <laughs> like, even... <laughs> I, you know when you sort of watch something and you think to yourself, how did you come up with that? Oh, yeah. Like, at what point did he, did like, the writers just like, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this barista and he's going to be like too small to make a coffee and that's going to annoy Roy. They'll get into an altercation and then a van with huge Was breasts is going to run him oh, over. Oh my God, exactly. Like, where do you think of that? And everyone else is like, uh-huh, uh-huh, this is great, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone else is like, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, well, the the weird thing is, like, this, and this is a bit of a weird thing with English TV, is um, what would happen to us, you kind of have, like, a couple of seasons of a show, and then the, the writer or the creator will be interviewed, and they'll say, oh, are, we gonna, are you going to make any more? And sometimes they will just be like, oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. And then they just don't make any more. You're like, no, you can't do that. Cancel the show <laughs> or don't cancel the show. It's even like um, Sherlock. Oh, God. Like the last episode of Sherlock, they were like, oh, we might make, if we get a chance, we might make more. You're like, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, obviously, first off, don't make any more because you've run out of steam. Yes. But you, you, what? <laughs> it's, it's absurd, you know. It and that's what happened with IT Crowd. Like, they finished the fourth season and it was just like, oh, yeah, we might make some more. And then I, I read that um, they did try and write scripts for a fifth season, but they couldn't all get in the same room at the same time, and then everyone's careers blew up. And then so they just managed to make this one. So I don't know whether this episode is like five, like the fifth season's, a load of the fifth season's jokes all put in one. And it's and it works so well for it, because it's just, this, just to actually try and explain the plot of this to someone... Like, okay, yeah, so Jen's in love with the barista, but then the barista gets nervous and makes a shit coffee, so she throws it on a homeless person, and then, and then just so on and so on and so on. It's like, yeah, and then that comes into that, and they end up pepper spraying everyone. <laughs> just Oh, because because Moss is wearing women's slacks, because, yeah. and it makes him more confident. And then, you, ah. we, and then Denim Reynolds is doing his own thing, because the company is... Yeah. I don't remember what happened with the company, but it's gone down. Because, oh, because of the viral video, their stock has gone yeah. down. So he's having to do Secret Millionaire, and then he has a party. And then I love the callback <laughs> of his robot hand breaking through the <laughs> yeah. window. And then, and then he ends up in the basement, and then they're on top. And I bet that lasts for maybe an hour. <laughs> yeah, just like... Oh, yeah, because so much of that, because actually thinking about it now, I'm like, okay, well, the secret millionaire thing probably could have been an episode. Oh, The yeah. pepper spray thing could have been an episode. Yeah, just like, you could have split them all up. But I, I, that whole thing of like, you know, uh, I can't talk now. I'm guesting on secret millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> millionaire. Um, but yeah, the I love the, um, like the anonymous spoof. I thought that was great. Oh, like yeah. that was very of its time um that was and and yeah not tons and tons of like fan service stuff but you did get like richmond came back Mm -hmm. and that was really it like of of kind of recurring characters but that was enough like that was the one you wanted back Uh, of course and uh the one i didn't notice because i had watched um i finished the finale first and then went back and watched the first episode and I had noticed in the finale, Jen saying, I don't like being a social par- piranha. Yeah, and yeah. Which is what she says in the first episode, I'm not used to being a social piranha. Yeah, and I genius. wouldn't have noticed that. It's so good. Oh, yeah. No, that was... that. I have that in my notes, just social piranha. And, um, <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> well, yeah, just, just how obvious everything's going to fail, but it still fails. And yeah. one, one of the scenes that absolutely cracked me up, I think it was the opening scene, where Jen goes to see the barista and he makes the coffee <laughs> and it's all very, like, the class, like the Italian music and it's all very sexy. And then it's the picture of her perfectly yes. on the coffee. And, and then that the, just what really, it... <laughs> really cracked me up. And I don't even know why. <laughs> well, because everyone wants that experience just... in the coffee shop. That's true. That is true. <laughs> well, another callback was uh, Moss getting a hot ear. That was uh, that was another yeah. callback to the first episode. He was spraying his hot ear. Um, and yeah, like like oh, just it, it's so odd that you know, now I'm actually thinking about it, now I'm actually trying to like analyze the show and you're like, where where do you get the idea for the women's slacks? Where does how does that come into your brain? I don't know. The only thing I think is like maybe he accidentally put on his wife's trousers one day. 
and was like, oh, I'm having a really good day today. And then he realized, I don't know. That was it. That was, he suddenly yeah. had a great day. He's like, oh, this is it. Maybe this is the key. This is the key. And now I have to put it in the show. Yeah. But yeah, no, just, um, I think I, it did. I don't know if you um, know anyone or if you are one of these people who like, uh, who play, like a, plays modern board games. Like I, I don't, I have in the past, like I have had, fr- I do have yeah, friends who same. do it. Same. And it's, it's such a, because these are, you know, the, my friends who play it are like perfectly cool, legitimate people, but it is that interesting <laughs> thing of like how silly it is when someone explains a board game to you. And I think they captured that really well with the game board, where it is I, just like, it's I like the, the the, one of the games, merchant. like, oh, experience being a, yeah, being a textile merchant. And you're like, <laughs> Jesus. But then I was like, yeah, I played a game like that at someone's it, house exactly. once. Like, oh, come around, we'll play Merchants and Marauders. Yeah. And like, I was playing with them, like, yeah, you're like, oh, so you can be a trader or you can be a pirate. Like, dude, I'm obviously going to be a pirate. Who the fuck will want to be a trader? And everyone else did, and they won. You know, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, because I, I know those weird board games of like, it's seemingly mundane things, but it, it's fun. Like, I've never played Settlers of Catan. Oh yeah. But like, to me, that's like, oh, that sounds boring. Why would I do that? But it's extremely <laughs> popular. Yeah, and and yeah, and people do rave about them. Like, I I do have friends who like have huge collections of these like quite expensive board games. Yeah, and and they love it. And it's like, oh, we'll play. Like, you know, like how long does a game usually last for? You're like, oh, you know, four four hours. Like, what? no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no. You could watch all of IT Crowd in that time. <laughs> Precisely, and then Moss's intro and the bad editing yeah. and is just the funniest thing. I love so much bad editing like that oh, it yeah. brings me so much joy uh yeah th- just the whole thing like halfway through the sentences it cuts off <laughs> or when they're talking and the mum comes in the room and the yeah. next minute she's gone and something else is happening and and that whole thing was like um okay well obviously we don't want to keep this conversation in so you want to edit this out like, <laughs> what, what am i editing and then it just cuts to the next thing and just like keeps going and and <laughs> just the thing like the intro it's like game board game board 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 board, <laughs> board. I'm like oh god but then obviously yeah then then the women's slacks version is incredible oh yeah it's just all explosions and yeah uh, and the... like, wiki wiki game board <laughs> yeah like rap music rock music and like lens flares <laughs> yeah oh genius the um uh i'm trying to think of like uh favorite bits of this show like one of my favorite favorite things is um because i never really actually realized how inappropriate the show was oh, like there yeah. was a lot of stuff you're watching it and there's a lot of like quite bordering on sort of not like not offensive but like bordering on that thing of exactly. like it's, a, it's not it, they don't play it safe yeah. so one of my favorite episodes is i don't know which season's in it i think it might be the second and Jen starts dating a guy and the boys think think the guy is gay and then they all go to watch the play and the play is called Gay, a gay yeah. musical. <laughs> yes. And Moss and Roy won't pee in the, whether there's the uh, washroom attendant, so Moss ends up becoming a bartender and Roy ends up having to pretend he's disabled. <laughs> and that whole thing where it's like, what's wrong? Dis- disabled. Disabled. And it's like, what, 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 how what happened you, to you? How are you disabled? Yeah. I'm like disabled. A- acid. <laughs> and just uh, what happens to your wheelchair? And he ends up having to like <laughs> stolen. Yeah, stolen. <laughs> and then he ends up having to like get driven to Manchester, which is obviously like I mean, I assume it's set in London, so that's a good four-hour drive. Exactly. And just wonderful that episode. Just com- I, and I, I I was watching that episode. Yeah, I was watching that on the episode on the bus. I got my iPad on the way to work and I had to stop watching it because I was just like, because I'm on a bus full of like other teachers who I worked with <laughs> and I was just on it and I was just like cracking up and my my wife sat next to me on the bus and we'd just be like, I would just be cracking up and she'd like nudge me and I'd be like, what, what's going on? What? what? Like, what, what what's like, look, like, she'd be bored like, what's so funny? What's so funny? I was like, I can't, I can't explain it to you. I can't. No. I can't even begin. <laughs> we'll watch yeah, it later. That's... I've got to stop. It's too funny. <laughs> that's definitely one of the things when you're watching it. In public, you, yeah. I mean, it's, you can't. No. <laughs> no, it's it's yeah. 
<laughs> and when uh, Moss is the, the bartender and Jen turns around and he's like, <laughs> gives her like scared eyes, like, get me out of this. And she's like, <laughs> nah, I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. It's just, the, yeah, it, it, it is just that wonderful thing of, um, I guess this is more so than like if you when you watch Black Books. Black Books isn't really the same kind of. Oh, maybe it is, but like that sort of wonderful thing of when you think it's escalated to the point where it's escalated, it just goes that extra one. Yeah. Or another one, you know. It's just like to the point where it it's or even stuff like the episode with um, Sea Parks where it's like a fire at Sea Parks <laughs> and you can't <laughs> understand it and you just, and you just like. Let it go. Just let it you go. Know, it's ridiculous. But yeah, I just because oh. the thing oh. is, you know, everyone knows someone like that who goes a little bit too far. But in real yeah. life, it's like, oh come on, dude. But in the show, it's like, keep going, keep yeah. going, keep going. Push yeah. it. See where this goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Now you've come this far. Just double down. Just keep going. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh yeah, no genius. Okay, so uh, anything else to add about the IT crowd? Any other thoughts? Any other comments, moments, things from your notes? <laughs> um, no, I think we kind of covered everything. I just go watch it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's that when, like, someone told me the other day that I needed to, because I, I, I was complaining that I wanted, like, some, I wanted something on TV that was, like, a supernatural thing that was, like, a bit stupid. Because mm-hmm. I'd, like, there's no X Files, there's no Fringe, stuff like that. And someone said, right. "Oh, you should watch Supernatural." I was like, "Oh, cool, cool. How many episodes are there of it?" And it's like, "Oh, they, they just started their twelfth season. Like, so there's like exactly. hundreds and hundreds of episodes of forty-five minutes TV. I'm still not watching going. that. Yeah, no way. I can't like, start that now. I stopped watching Supernatural. I started from the beginning, and I stopped. I was like, "This is too much." Yeah, the, I like shows with a conclusion. <laughs> yeah. That that's it. Like th- there is that weird thing of like when you're watching a show and well, or when someone gets you to watch a show and you're like, no, it's there's too much of this. There's just I, I'd never get I'd it's never get out from under it. Too much. I, I I do tend I tend to uh, not really now, but back in the day, so to speak, I used to find that if someone came to me and said, oh, you should watch this show, and they said, and it'd be like, oh, it's five seasons and it's just finished. Like, yeah, cool. I'm happy to start watching right. that. But I don't want to like get on some some sort of thing where I start watching a show and it runs for five more years. I'm like, oh Jesus! Yeah, but exactly. With the IT crowd, it's twenty five episodes. Every episode except for the finale is twenty minutes long. If it's on Netflix in America, it's on Stan in Australia. Mm-hmm. It instead of watching Big Bang Theory, just keep just watch IT crowd. <laughs> that's that's watch my on lunch break. Watch on commute. Easy yeah, to watch. That's it. And you're going to watch um, and, it more than once. <laughs> exactly. And if you like it, then you should watch Graham Linehan's other stuff. Black Books, uh, Father Ted, and then you can kind of like then watch Mighty Boosh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, Snuffbox. There's there's tons. There's tons of mad, weird, mad, weird, esoteric English shows that um, if you can find them and if you can watch them. And some of them, the Mighty Boosh is like a musical. Um, Snuffbox is... Snuffbox is really hard to describe. Snuffbox is like a musical, <laughs> but it's also very, very weird. And I'm not sure if it's funny or terrifying or both. So yeah, that's definitely one to try and track down if you can. Um, so yeah, cool. Emerald, where can people find you on the internet should you want to be found? Um, j- Twitter, uh, Emerald Lee. It's L-E-I-G-H-W. Uh, that's pretty much the only place you should want to find me. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. That's where you should go. Um, as for me, uh, you can find this podcast at from uh, at first to last pod, or email me directly at from first to last podcast at gmail dot com. Anyway, Emil, thank you for coming on. You were thank wonderful you for guest. Having me, and thank you for picking this show. I'm definitely going to get back into this. Uh, me too. I'm going to go eat lunch and watch that now. <laughs> Perfect. That's what's not to like. Awesome. Yes. Well, next time you feel like doing a podcast, let me know and you can come on. And when you eventually make your own podcast, which I assume you're going to because you're a natural, <laughs> uh, let me know and I'll definitely be a guest. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm, I will. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, my name is Sean Fallon. This has been From First to Last. Goodbye. Uh-huh.